Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make basic trash design using Stad Pro version 8i. All you have to do is to click this new project and then you click this trash here and then you click next and then you select this open structure wizard and then you finish. It will pop up a default setup wherein you will ask to select a truss model so i want it to be a wired truss okay you double click you double click it and then you are asked for the length of the truss wired truss so i want it to be 60 in length with a height of 12 meters and a width of say 12 meters and then number of base along length it seems that this portion of wired truss is like the division of the repetition of wire and truss along the span of 60 meters. So I want it to be six. And then the number of base along the width, it is like asking you how how many divisions you will make in within the width of the bridge. So I want it to be two. So I will apply that. So that's it. You have already made a default setup, uh, a wire and truss. Okay, that's it. So as you can see, there are two base along the width. And there are how many base? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a simple Warren truss model. Okay, so you can save that file, save. Okay, and you can also select units if you want it to be in centimeters, millimeters, inches, or feet. So meter for me would do, so okay. You can transfer the model. Would you like to transfer Merge this prototype into Stat Pro? You can click yes. So if that happens, you will be asked this option, this move prototype model by distance between following two nodes or by the following x, y, and z values. You can actually set this into 0, 0, 0. So that means within the origin coordinates in the stat, it will be copied. Your wire and truss will be copied. So click OK. So that's it. This is your whole structure in a stat window. Now, you cannot perform analysis here because there are a lot of things to be added in your in your warrant trust in order to know the analysis or what do you call this the structural analysis you have to perform things like adding adding design specifications uh, general by clicking this general so all you have to do is to start it in the general section in order to perform the analysis so you have to say um click this materials here and you see that it's made of there are different options there so you you have to click x muna and then you have to click the section database, okay? When you click this section database, it will load various sections of steel that you can potentially use in your design, okay? So while it's loading, there, there are the options of different shapes of beams. You can actually select American, Australian, Brazilian, British, Canadian, Chinese, Dutch, European, and various one. So if ever you are in Europe, so there, these are the beams that are usually used in Europe continent. So you can select, uh, suppose HD shape, you can select this one here, and then you close it. Now, since this is a wiring truss, suppose we are creating a frame of a bridge, you can make every beam made up of this HD 260 cross 114 steel beam. So you can click this, and then you can click the assign to view. When you select this assign to view, that means every members Every member will be made up of a steel of section HD 260 cross 114. So assign to view and then assign and then click yes. So that's it. This letter and number specifies your section that you have selected. Okay. Now we have already made a section for our um, wire and trust. Now we have to we have to add more specifications in order to perform analysis to our wire and truss bridge frame. Now we have to add property. We have already made add, we have already added property and then we have to add specifications for our bridge okay so how will we do that we have to click this specification here and then we have to click or you, you can actually change this this stuffs here but for the for the meantime we will not we will for the meantime we, we are not going to add the specification yet for our uh trust bridge although this is very essential in in crafting your analysis so we have to close it first now we have to click the support okay in order for 
for us to create a, an analysis, we need to specify the support or we need to add support to our structure. How will we do that? You have to you have to click this create and then you will ask what type of support you want to add to your structure. So it can be fixed, it can be pinned, it can be fixed, but so there are releases in FX, FY, FZ, MX, MY, MZ, enforced. So yep, you can cre create, you can add enforced, okay? So I want it to be enforced support, so let's add it. Now this would be your enforced support and you have to click this use cursor to assign. So when you select this use cursor to assign, meaning every point that the cursor will be selected, that's the point where the support to will be added. So assign to view, assign to no. use cursor to assign, you have to click assign first. I am sorry for forgetting that. So I assign, assign to this point, assign to this point, and assign to this point. So that's it. We have already four supports. Now we can close this. So as you can see, there are already four supports here, 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 and here. This so this we suppose is a frame of a bridge. Now, after adding uh, the supports, we need to add material, of course. So as you can see, we have already made this material into steel. You can actually change or edit the materials, the material for this stress bridge by clicking this stainless steel. You can assign that to view and assign and proceed. Yes, and as you can see, the our truss bridge is made up of stainless steel. So usually bridges are made up of metals. It can be in a stainless steel so that it won't rust very often. Now we have to to define the loads of our bridge. So how will we do that? All we have to do is to click this loads load cases details. You left click it or you can say add. You can click add, okay. You can actually click this primary and then you can select suppose all you want is a dead load. So you click this dead load here. That would be your load case one. So you can add that. So when we say lo dead load, that would be your the, the self-weight of the structure. And then you can also add a live load. So for that would be for your load case two. Live, live load can be set depending on your load definition. Okay, so you can add that. And then you can also set wind load. Suppose your structure is subject to typhoon or other wind conditions, you can add that so close. So this would be your load case that details. So that's it. This is the dead load. Close. This is the live load. We close that. And this is for wind load. So we close that. So we, we can add this dead load. Add. Okay. You will be asked for the self weight load factor. You can set that into negative one. And then you it has to be in y direction, assuming that assuming that the that the direction of the gravity is vertical. So we can add that. Add. And then we close. And okay, so that's it. Self weight load close. We select the self weight and we select this assigned to view. So assign. And then yes. So meaning this structure has already been subjected to its self weight. If click it. We can add this first, brother. And then after adding, we, we are asked for its self weight load again. I guess we need to change that into wind load here. Okay. So according here, wind definition is required in order to assign a wind load. So we need first to define wind load. So in, how will we do that? We click here, and then we have to wind to define our wind definitions. So we have to add that. So type number one, add. Okay. So we close it, and then that's it. Close and add that. So here it is, the intensity and then the exposures. So we can calculate as per ASCE seven. Okay. So that's it. This is the uh, common common. Uh, wind load for ASC. So we click that okay. Okay, so that's it. This is the intensity of wind load as per ASC. So we add that and then factor we can set that into one and then add. Okay, we we'll close it. Now we apply this assign to view. Then. Yes, so we have already um, added wind load to our bridge. Okay, and yep, we need since this is a live load, we close that and we've already defined our wind load. We, we can add that, okay? So, yep, this would be the wind load here, and then we add that already, and then we close it. So, we have already a wind load here, so that would be the direction of your wind load based on your, based on our, based on the ASC definitions of wind load. Now, we can click here. This is our wind load again. We can change this into seismic load, okay? So, we change that, and then we close it. But we need first to define the seismic load. How will we do that? We need to add here, add, click add, and then Type number two is it? Add, let's add. Oh, close, close, close. We have we, we need to delete this. Okay, that's delete, and then we need to add definitions here. I'm sorry, close. It's not in the wind definition. It's in seismic definitions. So we add definitions, 
So that's it. That's according to UBC 1985, or we can change that into Japanese depending on which standards or seismic parameters you want to use. I want it to be UBC 1997, usually the latest one. So include accidental load. So we add that. So that's it. We add, and then we close. Now, as you can see, there is already here uh, the seismic, and we can actually add that. When you click add, you will be asked for the factor. Let's make it one. So we add that and then close. And then we have we are at this self weight here. We are asked in which part you want to add your load case three. But I guess this is self weight in Y one. They are just this is just the same with load case one. So we you can delete this load case three. Okay. Yes. And we can actually add this 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 zone here, and and then it will join joint weight. It will ask you for a definition further. I want it to be um, one kilonewton. Okay, close and then joint weight one kilonewton on the node. Okay, so close. We need to assign to view assign. Then yes, we click that. So yeah, that means this this joints has this joints have their seismic will primarily be affected by the seismic definitions and seismic load that we have set, okay? So, yeah, we save that. Why are we making this in order to perform our analysis on our structure, uh, Warren, Warren Bridge, suppose a Warren Bridge. Now, we are we need to set a material for our uh, cross bridge. There, There is already a material as shown, so we need not to worry there. And then we can select the general again, and then the analysis and print. We need, we can, this is the last step in order to conduct an analysis. We can even load data. Add, you can create statics check, add, statics load, add, you can add this, add, and then you can also select this backlink, number of iterations, you can make it into 10 iterations, and then you can add this statics load. Okay, and then you can perform analysis. So we close that now. Now, you have to select for commonalities here because it will be read as error or warning. So that's it, we close now that. Now I guess we are ready for analysis. If ever there is an error or warning, you should always check for error. You can see there is no error in our analysis, so that means our design is valid. However, there is 17 warnings and 15 notes. We can check for that. View output file, and then we click create that. So this is our output. So note, if any floor diaphragm is present in the model, wind load definition should be defined up. After floor diaphragm definition, otherwise wind load generation depends on for Turing analysis. So these notes are usually um, in order for our design to be more precise and more safe. Okay, so as you can see here, there is the details of our statistics, statistics the problem statistics. This is there are thirty nine joints and ninety five members. Okay, so 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 for used is the out of core, and there actually this joint load unit is the newton warning. Also, there is an instability at joint twenty eight direction FC. So there are instability when Instability occurs, we need to resolve that instability as much as possible. So yeah, that's our analysis. And we can we can save that or we can print that depending on your um, choice. And now we can click this post-processing in order for us to, to analyze our data, our bridge. So we click OK. So as you can see, this is somewhat uh, our our analysis here so you can see we can you can click for instability here so as you can see there is an is, there are instabilities here in these joints so as you can see we need to resolve this instabilities for us to be a successful designer we need to resolve this instabilities okay so animation you, you you can click this deflection for the animation of the deflection so as you can see that is the deflection of our bridge that's the displacement it's like having its cataclysm so you can edit that further you can click this load case one next for post-processing we can select reactions if you want to see the reaction in every support you can click post-processing and the reactions you can see these are the reactions here and that's it that's it for today we've performed analysis in a warren trust bridge